One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a very nice, uh, it's a one or two owner, check the eBay ad. It's a Volvo Bertone Coupe, Coupe. And it's a 242, I think they are. And it is a very nice car. It's got the factory or aftermarket factory chop top. And it would be pretty nice with an LS, whatever the biggest number I can put after that is now. What do they do? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I don't know. Some kind of a big old 350, uh, newest, super duper, 500 horse thing in the world. Oh man, ultimate sleeper. But also with this little 240 motor, these things are just ultra reliable. They're great cars, and this one's a great runner that I'm sure you'd enjoy. Um, other than that, I'm gonna do the once around. I have people walking by and noise and all that good stuff. One Owner Car Guy is my website, oneownercarguy.com. You can check that out, and there'll be about 60, 80 pictures of this car and lots of other stuff on there that you can check out. Um, I'm gonna, at the same time as the screaming kids go by, jump underneath the car to where I can show you the underneath and the motor and such, which is a very simple deal. And one of the biggest things that I like to show you on these is the underneath. This is just absolutely beautiful shape. Not all rusted out or nothing. Beautiful under here. And I'll go around the other side, show you the floorboards. All that. Tires look to be in great shape. Got Yokohamas. Yokohamas. You got a set of Yoko. Yoko Mamas. And they got all kinds of tread. Floorboards are beautiful. Nice and solid. Tranny's beautiful. I'm sure you got a wet gasket or seal somewhere, but it doesn't leak all over the place or nothing like that. California blue plate car. Now, oh, the muffler is the worst part on this car. Everything else, as you can see, is nice and tight, but that muffler must have held some condensation in it and didn't do so well. Um, Yokohama's, nice tires. Um, that's your outside, that's your quick walk around, you're underneath. Um, we're gonna go for a test drive, of course. And I kind of showed you down the sides last night in the darker time. And now we're gonna go down here in the lighter time and just kind of show you the sides. Man, if you're invested in a Volvo and you want a 240 series, these are one of the most coolest that are gonna appreciate in value. I think he added this black on and it's chipping off in spots. And I showed you this damage where it's all checking on the top surfaces. Um, it's not awful, but it is not beautiful. Around these trim moldings, you got the corrosion that starts. It's not rusted through or nothing. It's just the top got under the paint right here where the trim moldings clip in. Uh, looks to be original paint and all, but right there and then spots. And he tried to glue that back on. Same thing around here. And there was a scrape on this side. A little scrape right there. A little gouge right there in it. And he's missing that piece of trim down below. Breton. Wheel wells are in great condition. Even though it's plastic in there, it's just like, I hate to say like new on anything, because nothing's like new when it's as old. This is just a little bit off. Um, that piece, and it's like it's supposed to pop in there. A little popper. A popper? I don't know. Um, this could probably be buffed down or something. We didn't do much to it. Um, rock chips and stuff along this. Just the only kind of corrosionary type stuff is where the paint came off. You can see the patina on it. But it's not all rusted through nowhere or nothing. Um, there's a couple things, like here, that I showed you. There's another one there somewhere. And a couple kind of chippy things here. The stripes are gone over time. Gone, he said. Clear coat's fading off right there around that spot, you can see. Um, all the wheel well arch trim molding here is pretty good. This one's scuffed a little as I thought it might be because of whatever he did here. Around the window trim, around the windows, great condition. I'll pop the hood and show you underneath there. We'll show you some in a different lighting too. Right there, man. Just got some water underneath the paint in a couple places where the chips started. Um, 
California not all rusted out or nothing yet. It's in clean stuff. I get calls all the time. Hopefully they'll call back in about seven minutes or so. And I can take care of that too. Um, you know, I had the Volvo mud flaps, baby. Cool stuff. And I know they're on this side. I know I think I had both back ones. All four mud flaps are there. Cool stuff. And going down this side, it's faded on the sides where you can see there. But it's not really dinged up. It's clean as can be. He doesn't scrape it up or nothing. Clean. So that's your once around, your twice around. That shows you a couple times, a couple different ways. Um, the interior is hard to show in the sun like this. So we'll do that in a second. Um, I'll get you under the hood at the same time. Um, car is in beautiful shape. Still got that hood scoop, or not hood scoop, under air dam thing there. Look at that man, that piece is usually all busted up on these. Somebody needs to redo this thing. Actually, just drive it like it is. It drives so good. And just redo it over time and it's a great investment car, for sure. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, the way this piece of plastic fits on here, it's been pulled away at some point. Oh, it fits right up underneath that. Look at there. I can fix this right here. Right here, right now. It's just not... Bottom and top is not rolled over that piece the way it should be. And I wonder how long it would take to fix. I don't know. I know that it seems really easy right now. And it seems like if it was this easy... Oh, the clip came off, so I'm going to have to redo it. But as you can see here, this piece here just kind of folds in there. And then this piece will clip the end on. Um, it's kind of just hanging out just a tad there. I wanted to show you that. And this side over here is just like it should be clipped in here. And I can use this. Oh yeah, that clips right in there. I can see it. I know exactly how to do it. Um, that's something that needs to be done. Um, this side just barely starting around here. Love the little crowns. And clean across the back. Very clean car. Checking on the roof. You can see up close. And that's that. My name's Nathan. I told you that. 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Import, export, send it to any port in the world. So, let's go for a test drive. <clears throat> that door handle hangs up sometimes. I got a pretty good thing down to where I can get it almost every time. I um, mean, just take, you can see it's a little, not loose, but you just gotta give it a pull. I hate that sunlight in there, so I'm gonna get you a good. Look at that, nowhere, man. I'm gonna take this and set it in here. Now, you know what? Graphic equalizer and all, cool stuff, but there's no radio. Did it go down there? Yeah, it must have. Yeah, it sure did. I didn't look down there, it just looked like a pocket. I think it went down here. Maybe it's just a pocket, I don't know. However, you got an equalizer. I'll tell you that much. This thing runs nicely. Um, it has the overdrive. And your little light comes on for it. Ooh. What is that, Alfa Romeo? That's a cool car. Um, wow. Well, I'm sorry people. This is a car channel and you need to check out my site, oneownercarguy.com, but you also need to check out my other videos here. I got a lot of videos. And I am not able to <laughs> do this car review of this car without showing this little um, Alfa Romeo here. I've got to take some pictures and do a quick video. So that's the deal. Thanks for watching and I'm going to do that right now. In fact, there's the guys over there. They'll be like, hey, get away from my car. We'll see you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll test drive in a second here. Well, OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Back at you here. 
and I jumped out and I ran over and I had to do a test a video of that little Alfa Romeo right there. And I talked to the guy for a while and I plumb thirsted myself out on this hot day. And we're going to get back to your test drive here. You get to see a double start there. Great little car. That gas gauge takes a little while to come up, but then once it does, it's, it's up there. Um, but it does take a little while to get to where it actually is. You can see it's up around a quarter or so now. <clears throat> it's 240 hoops are just awesome. And you get the Bertone with the low top. Just awesome little cars. There's like a need for shocks or something sometime soon. A little bit of a sound coming from uh, that area type of thing, I believe. No big pop and bam or wham or nothing. And this thing shifts great, runs great. Right up to 40, 45, like just no thing. Nice set of tires in there. Yoko Mamas. See, it's up where it is now. That's the gas level. And it was up there a while ago. I just now thought of saying it again. Well, I've been doing a lot of Volvos lately. And I've said in the videos that I'm not a big Volvo fan. And such. But, it's hard to deny just how reliable and good running and cheap to work on a Volvo 240 is. I had somebody give me a Raymond a while back. Oh, Volvo's not cheap to work on and this and that. A Volvo 240 is pretty darn cheap to work on. All there is to it. Um, get into like an Amazon really rare year wagon or something. Well, them are a little harder to work on on an old 122S or something, or you just don't get the parts for them. But a 240, especially something like this. This is a special one, as you know, I'm sure. And in being such, it's gonna hold its value and appreciate, I believe. This is a great investment car, and it's got a great little high mile per gallon, gallon driveline in it that if you don't go and do something crazy like put a big LS something or another in it you can just get a lot of miles out of this thing man and just drive it 146050 and I am gonna go up here and show you the nighttime view of the interior well not nighttime evening time God, it shifts nice drives nice steers nice corner's nice too it's a nice car. Are you getting that? Paul Frank Motorhome coming up. The designer guy that makes the little monkeys. Cool stuff. I should have moved the car before I got this going. And I didn't. So I'm going to have to do some finagling to show you the interior. And try and do that here at a different time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. And I'm gonna give you an outro from the outro side row. That's that beautiful car. And I'm sure you might have a question. Nathan, 406 544 6919. Interior coming up now. All right, I'm back with you to show you the interior. And these door seals are in great shape. Everything like that's in great shape. The panels themselves are in good shape, but they have a few tears starting on the fold over ridges of this and also this piece needs to be re this piece holds on to something inside and it's came off a little stain here and there and I don't know if you'd redo them or what um, hardly anywhere on the pedals and carpet looks great the panels great it could be cleaned up a little better than we did um, the seats a little torn as you can see I had covers on them I took them off last night I'll probably clip that part in behind this video and you'll see it too with the covers that come with it. Girls, beaglespocket.com for miniature beagle puppies. And there is a split right here, as you can see. But it's just the wire showing. There's no tears actually in the 
headliner itself just causes it to probably be a little loose there maybe um, and that piece is discolored as you can see um, beautiful car um, you know what that's what it is it's got a cap over it I don't know how cracked it is under that cap but the dash has a cap on it and it's split right there at that piece right there and this thing is really dry um, it's nice and smooth so it's probably pretty good under it good at least for having a smooth nice cap I just noticed it was a cap just now um, so that's disclosed to where you know which is my main thing on these videos is to show you everything there is a C it does not blow ice cold um, you know what while I'm in here I know I just took these out it's very seems dumb here but out in down up in a little slower It works fine every which way. <laughs> Told you I don't know what the deal is with that. Like I say, the air conditioner is very cool. Cool, cool. There you go, it's not ice cold though. Uh, E-brake's good. This is a little loose, you could adjust that however. Oh, it's missing a little screw right there, that's why. Pull that, open the hood. Um, I'm actually gonna do this a different way here. And that might mess me up for the trunk shot. We shall see. I showed you the locks and the windows. And them all work good. Yeah, this is going to mess up my trunk shot. Yeah, it's pretty good still, huh? Got the original book and all. Love it. Love having all this kind of stuff. Got the two covers that are on the front seats. This carpet here can roll up. And I showed you this all last night. And I'm going to clip it all in after this. But I just wanted to make sure that I got it good. And look at this. It's in great shape. The seal. Or weather stripping, I guess you'd call it. Um, and under here is in great shape. Nice and tight everywhere. Not all rusty or nothing like that. And let's show you under the hood. Hi, girls. What are you doing? You ready to go? And they know that I've been filming for quite a while here, and I need to say hello to them and get them outdoors. Beaglespocket.com for them, and one owner car guy for your cars. Girls. Nice and clean. Nice clean seals or anything. This is a nice car. It's been well maintained and taken care of. You can tell. Yeah, it's getting to the point now where, like I say, shocks or a couple different things you're going to replace at some point. Um, it's all good. It's a great car. And we'll make a nice project for someone to kind of fix up and make a good investment car. This piece must have got old and dry rotten because it's came off. There used to be more of that probably. There you go. Cool stuff. Well, that's the deal. 81 Volvo Bertone Coupe. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. That's the deal. Hope I've showed you everything. I can't think of anything else on it. Uh, thanks for watching. And please call me with any questions. 406 544 6919. You'll see the rest of the video after this. And. Don't know what else to tell you about it. I think I pretty much hit it all. Here comes the rest. Check out my website, oneownercarguide.com. Lots about 60, lots about, about 60 to 80 pictures of this car on there. And lots of other neat, unique, classic and Euro cars. Thanks for watching. Import, export, any port in the world, y'all get it to you. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguide.com. Don't know which way I'm throwing this all together. So this is an 81 Volvo. 242 uh, Bertone Coupe. It's a very nice car, and I don't know if this is going to be in the middle of the end or if this is the beginning of the video, but it's kind of the evening time almost. In fact, wow, look at there, moon's already way up there. And this is my Bertone Coupe. And I like to show it at different times to where you can see the scuffs and you can see how it shines and 
and I can show the interior mostly. So that's where I'm going to go right off first with this once we do a complete walk around of it for you. OneOwnerCarGuide.com, Nathan, 406-544-6919, and you can see there's a cap missing and miscellaneous stuff. Maybe you've seen that already, maybe you haven't. Let's look at the inside. Ah! This door handle's a little gummy sometimes. Gummy meaning it just kind of takes two pulls. Door panels are in great condition. This one is pulled out a bit and needs to have a retainer thing. I think it's got a little spring thing you pull in there that'll keep it zipped in. A couple tiny stain type things. Oh, you can't see that. Dang it, I'm gonna have to show you that tomorrow. There's hardly anywhere. That right there is just in beautiful shape. These seats you're gonna be able to see though. And I left this on it. He had these. And I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I was going to go ahead and pull this off. That's what she said, to where you could see it and see the, everything you're dealing with. Um, got the headrests. And the leathers wore through on the lumbar in different places, like right there. And I like these pieces, and they could be saved. Um, hard to save that one and that one. Now, what needs to happen is the faces need to be replaced, and I'd replace these sides, too. The backs of them are in great shape. Look at this. No need for nothing. And it's real leather, I think. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it is. A little bit of dust up there, huh? Guess we didn't get in the... Oh, well, because the cover was on it. Can't blame that on nobody. There's a cover on it. Back seats are in good condition. They're not all hard. Um, they are a little discolored. And I'll show you this a bit tomorrow. There's a little crack in it right there. The backs of them are in great shape. Looks to be a gash right there. Yep. Backpackers trays. Nice. Got some Volvo sound, baby. Tinted rear window. Love that look. Headliner's all in good shape. Right here, I think maybe it's discolored, as you can see. Oh, wow. I don't know how that all works. It's got a little directional light. I'll show you that tomorrow, too. Um, miles. 146.046. Let's show you in the trunk here real quick. I'm trying to keep this thing halfway decent. Got the book and all that. It's a great car. It runs and drives great. Um, very collectible. These cars are only going to go up in value. Um, if you were going to get a Volvo 240, why not get the the Bertone Coupe? Um, and I'm aware and I, that you're just sitting here waiting for me to get done folding this, but I just had to get this thing in here like that. I already took the other one off. Um, here's your handbook, a manual. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And if you're gonna invest in one of these, man, this is the one. The Bertone's gonna be worth more money. It's just, it can only go up in value. This needs to be re glued up in there. A guy could stick it and act like it works, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. Um, same thing here. This piece just fell down yesterday. Um, and the tire with the riding on it, man, I don't even think it's been on the road. No, it doesn't feel like it's even ever been on the road. Factory jack and bar. All this is in great shape under here. <clears throat> and I'll show you a little bit of this tomorrow. Because I kind of missed it. A little bit of the light. We got a lot of it, but not all of it. Door handles are in great shape. We got the fake wood with the speaker grill. That's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to go back. A couple tears in this seat as well. All this stuff works. And these are in great shape back here. Carpets are nice back here. You can't see that very well. Dang it. I'll have to show you that tomorrow. Light works. Couple cracks in the dash right there. And the speaker grill. I'll just go ahead and break that apart for you. <clears throat> Can easily be fader. And you can't see it, man. I'm just a little too late. 
So we'll show you all that in the morning. And I'll pop the hood. You never know what part of this is gonna show up better in the evening and what part of it's gonna show up better at night. And that's all I want is to show it better. Like this looks pretty dang good. I think tomorrow it'll look just as good. So we'll just do it quick. That's what she said. Look at that, man. Nice. Nice. A little crack in the top there. I think that's for the window. You can pause that if you need to. Yeah, somebody can probably tell me something about this that I don't know for sure. And a rare Volvo like this, I dig. I really do. And I do think that they're going to go up in value. Wow, 30 cubic inch. It's a 240. Okay, let's see how it looks on the outside. Yeah, you should probably see stuff now. Um, on the hood, you can see these spots. No rust through. It's all nice, but on the top, the paint's chipping. And right in that area, <clears throat> you have what you have. Checking everywhere in here. Um, sides are very straight. Um, you got your random ding, like up here, let's say ding, ding, and I might miss one. And I'll look tomorrow. And then you got a little bit of corrosion around where the studs are in here. Like they all get. It's not all rusted out or nothing. Around this piece, same thing. Very solid though. It's just the paint above and a little corrosion area on the top surface. Um, top's all faded and checked. Faded and checked here. I think he painted that. I'm not sure, but same thing here. And that's why my hands are always dirty. But oh well. <coughs> Chrome around the windows looks great. And look at it's all in great shape. It's not all rusted out. You just got it here where this trim is on it, like all these get. And it's been very well taken care of. It's a one or a two owner. Um, down the sides, just straight as can be. I wanted to make sure I showed you everything over here. The scuff. It's missing that bottom piece. And he lightly scuffed something right in here. Just a slight indention. And I'll show you it all tomorrow. We're gonna go for a test drive. A couple chips on there. And all the chrome's good. I didn't even shine it up, dang it. A little loose on the grill. Really? I'm gonna have to look at that. A little faded on the sides. Let's go for a test drive. One owner car guy. Dot com and this is your 81 Volvo Berton great time it's nice and cool oh this is so much better this is what I mean by gum it's like a little loose in there not really loose but you have to pull it out for it to be flush so when you go sometimes if you don't pull it hard enough you gotta give it a good pull Thing fires right up. Runs great. Interior lights there are working good. Well, even the dimmer switch. Okay. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. That motorhome's coming up. It was Paul Franks, the designer. You know who that is. Got a little bit of a loose, a uh, bad shot, is what I think it is. Uh, a little bit of a rattle up there. And I'm gonna check that out. It's one thing I didn't get to. Um, and it will be either sold like it is to where it's disclosed, hey, rattle in front on shock or such, or it'll be fixed. I like to keep my cost to the end user down, so a lot of times I don't fix stuff like that. It does have an overdrive, and it, all the lights, and it does work. You can feel it kick in and out of gear. Tranny shifts very nice. Tack and everything speeds. 
speedo jumps around a little bit. Not a lot, but at the bottom, when it gets down to like 10 miles an hour, it'll kind of jump down a little bit. Like, okay. Wave, there you go. The overdrive button's nice to hit to kind of downshift. One owner car guy. Nice little car. <clears throat> you can call me on it. It's 406-544-6919. And like I say, tomorrow I'll do a little bit more on it and show you outside a little better, show you the inside a little better. Uh, it's just a different time. And it's an extra 8 to 14 minutes I've been throwing in on them. Sometimes I catch them just a little bit earlier than this. Which is a better time than right exactly now. Man, this car is sweet. It drives, shifts, and steers nice. The one thing about these cars is they're old. Something's going to break at some point. I hate belts. I hate hoses. I hate power steering pumps. I hate starters. I hate alternators. I hate all that stuff. Um, they're cheap, and you can find them cheaper when you have a lot of time. Like when you're at home and you got your computer and everything, you're like, huh, I think I need a, a fuel pump. Well, it's really cheap on eBay. You're stuck in the middle of nowhere. It's not so cheap. Um, and maybe they have to send it in, and you have to get a hotel an extra day or two, pay an extra day or shipping fee. I don't know. Um, and that's why I say that on these. It's just best to ship them. Shipping is cheap. I can ship it anywhere. Anywhere? I can ship anywhere, I tell you. I can ship anywhere for uh, under $1,095 on these. Um, if you're closer, it kind of goes down accordingly. Um, and I'll be glad to help you. Now, anywhere in the United States is what I mean. Um, you get to shipping it overseas, and it is... Well, Netherlands is really cheap, like um, $12.95 to $14.95. It's a very good deal. We got dogs everywhere. Yes, sir. -y. Beagle juice and breeder. And Beagle juice is just sitting there in the headlights. Like, what's going on? Okay, that's that. I'm in the car. I'm going to show you this. Window works nice and fast. That window works nice and fast. Because they're nice and fast windows. Auto door locks. Cool stuff. These do have a Mimi. Me. Me, me. Nice sound to them and all. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Beagles Pocket .com. huh? Beagle Juice. What are you doing, girl? Come here. <coughs> oh, Breeder don't like that. She's like, what are you doing talking to that other dog? Okay, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. That is your 81 Volvo Bertone with the lights on. And it's a very nice looking car. And this light over here is out on the left side, as you can see. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll get you some more tomorrow. OneOwnerCarGuy.com